morning, Unity of Sacramento. Good it is good to be in the house today. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. You all been doing the thing. I do want to take just a couple seconds to let you know you're doing it well. And we're feeling you. We're feeling you not only in Cambridge, Massachusetts, at Harvard, but we're feeling you across the country. And people are, are still reveling in amazement at the spiritual community that love is building on Folsom Boulevard in Sacramento, California. So for all the ways that you are holding this spiritual community and holding the light for this spiritual community and being the light that we send forth from the spiritual community, I give you thanks. We welcome any of you who are here with us for the first time, second time, or it's been a long time. We thank you for being in this spiritual community. And we expect today that you will go home better. Amen. Would that be all right with you? Yeah. And know that our veterans here, the individuals who have been here for some time, will be happy to show you some good Unity of Sacramento hospitality. So we are actually in the Lenten season. Can you believe it? Was it January yesterday? <laughs> we just had the Christmas concert, Carla said. <laughs> Time does not stand still for any man, right? And so we are, we are in the Lenten season. And for us here, we work with the Lenten season in a special way. And so for some of you, this is going to be review this morning. For others of you, this is going to be new this morning. Tell somebody, get in where you fit in. Tell them, get in where you fit in. And for me, this means that I am in the home stretch to graduation. I graduate from Harvard Divinity School May 25th, 2023. So now if you are thinking of someone to put on your prayer list, <laughs> look no further. Because they are not playing in those Harvard streets up there. But we are in the Lenten season, and I just want to put a context on it uh, for those of us who are maybe new to Lent. We teach here that Lent is a season of mind fasting and soul feasting. What is it? Come on. A season of mind fasting and soul feasting. It is the 40-day period commemorating Jesus' experience in the wilderness, beginning with Ash Wednesday and culminating on Easter Sunday. Okay? And so it's that, that period of testing and overcoming that the master teacher took as he was preparing to begin his formal ministry. And in unity, when we are studying scripture, when we're looking at the ancient text, we are not just looking at it with reference to the players of old, the characters from antiquity. But tell somebody nearby, and if you're in the live stream, type it in the chat room. This is your story. This is my story. Tell somebody, this is your story. This is my story. Now tell them, this is your journey. This is my journey. Come on, this is your journey. This is my journey. And so the Lenten season is our spiritual journey of mind fasting and soul feasting. And so I am going to assume that somewhere along the way you have started Lent back at Ash Wednesday. 
but just in case you have not. <laughs> I want to bring us up a little bit as to how we can enter the on-ramp of this spiritual journey and prepare ourselves for our own resurrection, because that's where we're headed. We're headed to that place of overcoming. 